Okay guys, I just had a couple little pitch shots to the flag here with this action. It's an absolute blessing for pitch shots. It's about 35, maybe 38, maybe 40 yards to that front flag. We're just going to push it, we're going to shove it. It's fantastic for that guy. This is how, maybe, this is a good way of embedding the feeling because this really does give you a lot of connection. Both arms. Ball just goes so straight. And if you think about it guys, all the cocking up and the flapping and the trying to to get rid of that, that wrist cock that you have on a normal golf swing, you can't do it in a little shot like this. You can't do that. And that's why most guys that are flippy and floppy and long never pitch the ball any good. I'm really tight here. Look how close my hand is here. That's, that's a beautiful shot. It's always online guys, you can't hit it offline. Not possible. Go in. So if you do nothing else guys, this <laughs> this will improve your pitching. No end. I mean it's just so easy. The club can't get offline, it's that little accuracy channel that I talk about, which is here. It's not here. It's not here, it's just here. The little accuracy channel. Guys, it's easy. And this is probably a good way to feel it. I've done this before, and I think I should do this on a regular basis to, to just reinforce that this is another way of learning the connection. A little bit of hook back on a, on a little pitch shot. Look at this, a little bit of hook back here, guys, look. Just, as we say in Australia, as easy as shelling peas. It's now probably just exceeded the surface temperature of the sun here right now. Absolutely stifling, but it's great for my back. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I watched Tiger yesterday in that uh, Hero tournament and they were saying today how he had more birdies than anybody else, 24 for the tournament. But they, they don't say uh, the other relevant factors. He had more double bogeys than anybody else. And he was in more bunkers than anybody else by a mile. His good shots were good, but his bad shots were not good. Just looks different. He doesn't look like Tiger anymore. The swing looks laboured. Looks like he's trying to do something with the golf swing. What would I know? So I'd like to spend an afternoon with him. I really would like to spend an afternoon with him. What about Tiger and the Da Vinci Code? With his athleticism and his power, I 
he'd never miss a fairway. He'd go from missing the golf course like he does occasionally to basically not missing a fairway because he's got the power. He doesn't need the length of golf swing he's got. He could actually generate as much, if not more, power with Da Vinci Code. Good way to learn this, guys. And see, the good thing is you, you know that you're not going to miss hit the ball. Because there's not, there's, there's not enough variation in the golf swing to miss hit it. You can't. It's in the accuracy channel and it can't get out. The club can't get out of the accuracy channel. Yeah, as I say guys, if, if it does nothing else, it'll improve your pitching unbelievably. We'll just hit a little one here, just over the rise here and, you know, 15 metres short of the, uh, of the green, of the flag. Like that. It's the same shot. So you don't have to worry about about shorter shots, you can hit it just just to the top of the ridge here. There. There's no limit to it, and there's no restriction on it. Okay guys, just thought I'd show you that, so that's a way of uh, of, uh, of practicing. To get the feel. This is the real shove. This this really does feel like a shove. I'm shoving it here with that that quadrant here. You watch how hard I shove this on little pitch shot. I'm basically hitting it with this in conjunction with this. Wow, that's strong. A little shot like that and it just explodes. But that's how you get the feeling of the shove. I say the shove, this is going there guys. This is going there, this is coming back here. Little secondary tilt here. And we're firing the fingers, always firing the fingers away from the spaghetti forearm and the and the macaroni the macaroni forearm, the spaghetti fingers, everything's just Guys, if they have a tournament in Death Valley, I'm going to end up because I'd win because I'm acclimatised. Okay, guys. Just a little bit of uh, pitching. Uh, but again, a good way to learn it. And you can see it's pretty accurate. Okay, we'll do more tomorrow.